New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Amen. Yeah. A, a church you can call home. If you don't have a home church, come visit with us. Amen. Either you come physically and walk over here and you'll be blessed just by coming. Amen. Amen. Or you can just listen to us or we can uh, uh, watch us. Amen. So, and this is where we honor God, love family, serve others, and we pursue excellence. Amen. And we have a passion for God and a passion for souls. This is on a daily basis, yeah. not just once in a while. As children of God, amen, we want to be ministers of reconciliation yeah. and bring the lost into the world. Amen. Yeah. He's not finished. As long as you're here, we've got a mission. And we need to get out and go out and, and fulfill this mission God has given us. Amen. But if, <laughs> if you allow yourself, if you give the enemy place, he's going to have you sitting doing nothing. Or your flesh is just going to be comfy, you know. Yeah. No, prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. amen. And this is a time to give thanks. So we're going to be thankful for what God has given us. Amen. Yes. And whose we are. Amen. Yes. So we want to welcome all our NBC family, all the visitors, and all those of you that are joining us by audio and video. All we ask you to do is prepare and receive. God has something for you. Like yes. I said, say it all the time. He's got something for me. I ain't letting go until I get it from him. Amen. We need to have that attitude. We need to have that determination. Say, Lord, you got something for me. Amen. Mm -hmm. And when you get it, man, do something with it. Don't just yes. hold on to it. You know, just like we get the word, we study the word, meditate on the word, and we get the word in us so that we yeah. can go out and speak the word. Yeah. yeah. Amen. That's where the power is. When you speak it, you're taking authority and using the word of God to take authority wherever you go. Uh -huh. Amen. So don't just hold it in. It's time to use it. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. He's not ready. He's listening. He wants to bless you. He wants to encourage you. He wants to change you. And he wants to correct us. Why? Yes. Because he's our heavenly father and we're his children. Yes. yes. And he's just like that. And, we're gonna yes. and you're going to listen. <laughs> and before, uh, what we're going to be talking about, giving thanks unto our God. Amen. Giving thanks unto him. Amen. So before we get, uh, before we get any further, let's make this declaration together. Grab your sword, grab your Bible, yes, whatever you. you want to call it. Amen. And dust it, you know, maybe. No. <laughs> grab it and let's say make this declaration together. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Man, you can say that on a daily basis. But this is the word of God. Amen. This is what we use. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise on a daily basis. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, praise team. I mean, that song really blessed me a few minutes ago. It says, giving thanks. You know, we're starting this uh, week of uh, Thanksgiving. Yeah. So today, we're just going to be talking about giving him thanks. Amen. Amen. But the song we sang a few minutes ago says, give thanks with a grateful heart. Amen. Yes. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ His only Son. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So, with a grateful heart, you know. If you're going to have an attitude, have an attitude of gratitude. Yeah. Yeah. And say, thank you, Lord, yeah. for what you've done. Amen. Yeah. And uh, one of our scriptures, you can, well, she's already got it up there. Thank you, Carmen. No, it says, give thanks with a grateful heart. And John 3.16 says this, For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So He's our greatest example. He's giving so that we know how to give. It's not just for us to hold on to. Amen. He wants us to give, give so that we can be uh, givers. Amen. Yes, amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. So this is uh, our text. For God so loved the world, wherever you happen to be, amen, wherever you happen to be listening, wherever you happen to be watching from, amen, God, for God so loved the world, amen. And you know the thing about it is prayer and the word of God has no limits. It can go everywhere. All we need to do is we need to have an attitude of gratitude and receive what he has for us, amen, or you can just let it go. But it ain't going to bless you. And you're going to continue to have the problems you're having. Mm -hmm. And you're going to con continue to have the struggles, the distractions, and all these other things are going to con continue to multiply if you don't stop it. Remember, we have to take authority and say stop. It stops right here. Hey, it's, the bug stops here. This mess is stopping right now. Amen. 
the prodigal son finally says, hey, I can stop this. You know, hey, at Father's, this is what I can have at Father's house instead of being here eating with these pigs. Yeah. I could be in Father's house and have a better place. Uh -huh. You could have, you could make this turnaround today. You know, you've been running too yeah. long, and it's time to come home. And it's time to say, Lord, thank you so much for what you've done for me. Thank you for God so loved me, for God so loved the world. I mean, that is, that's you. You can just scratch the world and put your name right there. For God so loved me that He gave His only begotten Son. He sacrificed right. Him, yes, so that you could have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Believers should be, be, uh, give thanks to him daily. Philippians uh, 5, uh, 518 says that, you know, continually give thanks unto him. In yeah. all these things, it says be thankful. So, amen. Yeah. Keep, keep going, coming. You see what else we got? Well, we got a few of these. We just want to say this week is Thanksgiving. So, we just want to say, hey, we wish you a happy Thanksgiving. For now, we're just going to say thank you, Lord. And whatever you do, whatever, whatever in the world or word, word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Do it what? Giving yeah. thanks. Man, if you don't know what else to say, yeah. give thanks. Say thank give you. Thanks. Amen. Amen. I mean, we can all say that. You know, hey, we can all fall. Yeah. But he don't want you to stay down. Yeah. What, what should I do? Yeah. Get up. <laughs> yeah. Get up and start pressing, you know, and say, yeah. God, I've sinned against you. Come in my life, be my Lord and Savior. And then he says, he's going to dust you and say, press on. I've got a mission for you. Amen. Right. Each and every one of you. Each Amen. and every one. We're going to talk about that a, a little more down, down the way. Here. Giving thanks to God the Father through him, through Jesus. For God Amen. so loved the Son. The Son went. He was, <laughs> I've said this so many times, you know, they met in heaven. <laughs> and he says, son, I want my people back. So I'm going to have to sacrifice you. He says, okay. <laughs> so he was born in this world, you know. He gave. He, 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 he was obedient to the Father. But you know, the example he given us is every day he was here and he went out. Went out he had some struggles. Yes. That's why he went to the Father and said, Lord, I need your strength. Mm -hmm. I cannot survive without your strength. Yes, yes. If, if Jesus needed it, the Father's strength, what about us? Oh, yeah. We need it. Without him, Without, well, with him, with, we're everything. Without him, we're nothing. Mm -hmm. So we need him. Lord, I need you. I need your strength. So he was our greatest example. Amen. Yes, he for what, he, what he's done. Yes. So, with an attitude of gratitude, believers are called to be grateful and thankful people. Attitude of gratitude changes depression or depression to joy. The yes. frown to a smile. Some yes. of us need to practice oh, smiling. You know? The frown distracts people. I smile at Christ's people. Mm -hmm. Why are you smiling? Because Jesus loves me. Oh, I didn't want to hear that. Well, you heard it. Yeah, it came out. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Psalms uh, 107 says, Give thanks to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Keep going. You got a few more of these. It says, Happy Thanksgiving. Give thanks to the Lord. For He is good yes. and His love endureth forever. forever. First Chronicles 16, 34. So there's a happy early Thanksgiving to you. It's coming this Thursday, okay? So, but for right now, and on a daily basis, we just need to say, Father, mm -hmm. thank you. Giving him thanks on a daily basis. Amen. Not just once in a while, because, hey, mm -hmm. we've got a nice food to eat and all these other things. No, it's a time of giving thanks. Mm -hmm. But as a believer, as a Christian, we should be thankful on a daily basis. Yes. Not, not just once a year. It says 107, once in the Amplified says this, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Good. Mm -hmm. says his compassion and his loving kindness yes. endures forever. forever he says he's God he changes not That's it. we need to follow his example mm -hmm. we need to get full of him so yes. we can start pressing on amen. with him amen mm -hmm. the New Living Translation says give thanks, give thanks to the Lord for he is good his faithful love endures forever it amen, amen. Mm -hmm. and here's another thing he's given us <laughs> he gave you a wake up call this morning the Bible says uh Psalms 118 24. This is the day the Lord has made. Mm -hmm. And keep going. He says, I will rejoice, rejoice. and be glad in, it. glad in it. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to rejoice. Yes. But you don't understand. It's cold out there. It's raining out there. It's mm -hmm. snowing out there. Yeah. Whatever the circumstances, oh man, I gotta go face this. Mm -hmm. I, I have to go do this. I got 
all kinds of priorities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Think about it is, is he your Lord and Master? Is he mm -hmm. your Lord and Savior? Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. He says, rejoice. Be glad in this day yes, that yes. I have given you. Yes. He gave you a wake up call. Man, that's mm -hmm. good enough to Amen. just get up and yes. say, thank you so Amen. much. Amen. Amen. So let's remember this. Oh, uh, yeah, the greatest attitude of all is gratitude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, some of us get the right attitude before you hit the door. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a bad attitude, guess what? Oh, yes, it is. Wherever you happen to go, if whether you're working and you're coming to church or, or you're going to the store, if you got a flat tire, guess what? You gotta change that That's before you go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you just happen to go on vacation, whatever. You still you gotta change that before you go. Yeah. Right, amen. But if you got a bad attitude, nobody needs it. So you change that attitude. You spend time with him, that attitude is gonna change. It can't stay the same. You can't get full of God and be sad. You can't get full of God and, and just have a bad attitude. You're going to have a good attitude. Amen. Amen. I said, man, Jesus, I need you now more than ever before. Mm. Well, there we go. Hallelujah. This is the day. This is, yeah. this is the day the Lord has given us. Amen. We're going to Amen. rejoice and be glad in it. This is the what the Lord the Lord has made. Rejoice and be this is the day the mm -hmm. Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. He's yeah. telling us something. Yes. Amen. <coughs> so be obedient to what the word of God says. Uh -huh. Amen. He's talking about you. This is the day the Lord has made for me. Uh -huh. You can change that. Personalize it. Make it yeah. for yourself. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. We, some translation says we, some translation says I uh -huh. will rejoice and be yes. glad in it, amen. But I have something to do about it. Mm -hmm. That means I can change my attitude. Yeah. I don't have to stay with that bad attitude. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. got a bad attitude, nobody wants to be around you. Oh, <laughs> Let every day be a day to give thanks. Not yes. just once in a while, but every day. As a believer, we know better. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Keep going. Psalms 92 and 1 says this. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name. Amen. O Most High. Man, anywhere, this is just a few uh, scriptures, a few verses that we're reading. The Bible is full of these. Give thanks unto Him. Yes. Amen. You can go and just uh, look them up for yourself mm -hmm. and have them on there. You know, write them up and yes. go over them. And, and, and you can have them. Psalms 92 and 1 says, It is a good thing. Yeah. Well, you don't want it to be a bad thing. Yeah. It is a good thing yeah. to give thanks unto the Lord yeah. and to sing praises unto thy name. Yeah. Oh, most high. We sang that this morning. Amen. That's right. It's, we sang that this morning. <laughs> it is a good thing. It's not bad. He's not going to give you anything bad to do yeah. or say. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Is it blessing you? Yes. Yeah. Give yeah. thanks and praise him. For blessing us so abundantly. And John 10.10 10 says what? Uh -huh. The enemy comes to steal, mm -hmm. kill, and destroy. Yes. He, say, he says, Jesus says, yes. I have come that you might have life, life. and have it more, more abundantly. Yes. Yes. Amen. That's something to be grateful for yes. on a daily yes. basis. Yes. Not just once in a while That's or it. once a year. Mm -hmm. you no. Know? Don't let nobody dictate when to do it. <laughs> you should go to do this. Yes. Every every day, yeah. commit, surrender yourself to Him, mm -hmm. and and let Him know. Yeah. You know, I've said it like this too: is don't let nobody, yourself or nobody, hold you back from what mm -hmm. God has called you to do. That's it. That's and whatever He's called you to do, is precious. Mm -hmm. See it that way. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Regardless of what other others say, the world says you're not qualified. You ain't doing it right. You know, you got to do it this way. Tradition says. Mindset says, no, I'm doing it God's way. Mm -hmm. And what he's given me is good enough. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's be why? Because he gave, he gave it to me. Mm -hmm. Philippians 4 and 6 says this. Be careful for nothing but in everything. By prayer and supplication. Yes. With thanksgiving. Yes. Yes. Let yes. your requests be made known to God. Yes. Here we go. Be anxious for nothing. about everything. Nothing. 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 Anything. But in mm -hmm. every situation. Mm -hmm. And everybody has situations. Your situations may be different than mine, but still, there's going to be some situations. There's going to be some circumstances there. Yeah. By prayer and petition with, yes. thanksgiving. with thanksgiving. 
he's able to do something. Yes. Amen. We bring it to him and give yes. it to him and cast it to him and leave it there. Leave it there. <laughs> Present your request to who? No. Your friends. No. No? no. You know, you bring it to your some of your friends, oh, they, they, they'll tell you, I got bigger problems than you. <laughs> <laughs> this is nothing. <laughs> this is nothing. I got bigger problems. Listen to mine. And they'll give you theirs. Yeah. You know, here's the thing is, don't let nobody take you out of your peace. That's it. That's Amen. It. Don't let you nobody take you out of that peace, even if they say it. That's why you should prepare yourself before you go into the world. Yeah. Because you've got the peace of God in you. Yes. Yes. Amen. So whatever they say is not going to take me out of my peace. That's whatever it. they say is not going to distract me from doing what God wants oh, me now. to do. Right. Amen. Amen. And this is every one of us. We can we can do this. And the peace of what? God. I threw verse seven in there. And verse eight is even well good too. Says which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and yeah. mind in Christ Jesus. Amen. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He's no respect of persons. That's it. And he's going to do it. But God. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. God. He see. He says. He says. I have come that you might have life, life. and have it more yes. abundantly. More Amen. So I want to be on His side. Yeah. So get on the winning side. Last week we talked about victory in Jesus. <laughs> I want to be on the on the on Jesus side because mm -hmm. there's victory in Jesus. Yes. Amen. Yes. <laughs> All the time. Mm -hmm. Reasons we uh, should be grateful and thankful. Well, keep going. <laughs> well, let me see. We got a couple of goodies coming up. No, we can go back. There we go. <laughs> what do we have to do? Yeah. Release, Release your burden through giving thanks. Yeah. You have to let go. Yeah. You got to let go. We've talked about this before. You got to let go yes, and let yes, God. Yes, amen. If you don't amen. release it, he, he won't take it. That's it. Amen. That's your will. And gave you a free will. But you got to be able to release it. Yes. Give it to him. Cast it. He says, cast it on me. Give yes. it to me. And I'll take it. Yes. Amen. He wants you to go mm -hmm. free from yes. all these things. Yes. Yes. Amen. And do what he wants you to do. Mm -hmm. You don't want all this weighing you down. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's it. If you're not giving it, you got problems. Uh -huh. And the problem is not there. Mm -hmm. The problem is here. Yeah. yeah. We gotta fix this. <laughs> Amen. So release it. Let it go. It's yeah. not yours. Amen. You're carrying an extra weight you shouldn't yes. be carrying. You yeah. got the last week we talked about, you gotta unload. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gotta let it go. Unload it. Keep going. Mm. There we go. That's what we are. Mm -hmm. Psalms 100. Everybody knows Psalms 100, yes. but that's okay. Psalms of it's a psalm of giving thanks. Yes, thank you. It says, "Make a joyful noise unto the Lord." This is New King James. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with sadness. Gladness. 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 Amen. It draws people. Why are you doing this? Because Jesus wants me to do it, and Jesus loves me, and Jesus loves you too. Yes. Amen. <laughs> It says, come before his presence with singing. Mm -hmm. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us and not we ourselves. Yeah. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. thanksgiving. <laughs> he woke you up this morning. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Amen. Yes. Thank you. With thanksgiving, enter his courts with praise. praise. Be thankful unto him mm -hmm. and bless his name. For the Lord is good. good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth them. All generations, amen. So listen, believers should rejoice and be glad and give thanks on a daily basis. Yes, yes. Not just once in a while. That's it. Every day. Yes. As often as needed. Yes. As often as you feel like it. Mm -hmm. You know, when you make God glad, you make the devil mad. Yes. <laughs> so say it all the time. Yes. You know, he don't the devil don't want to hear it. No, he don't. But you know Jesus wants to hear it. Yes, he does. Say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And you know, the more you stay with him, with the Lord, <laughs> the less the enemy is going to want to bug you. That's it. <laughs> but yeah. be careful. Be careful. That's it. Because it goes around as a roaring lion, yeah. seeking who you may devour. He's still hanging around. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's a full-time devil. Mm -hmm. So don't be no part-time Christian. That's don't it. be a part-time believer. That's it. Amen. Because he can have you quick. Come on now. You know, all he's waiting for is for you to say the negative thing. Mm -hmm. Have the bad attitude. 
And when you have that attitude, you just go and slip and say yeah, something. Yeah. And he's listening. Yes, he is. Amen. He's listening to whatever negative things come out of you. And then you're opening the door. Mm -hmm. And he's just going to come right in. Mm -hmm. When he comes in, he don't want to live. He don't want to leave. Mm -hmm. That's why he says, cast it on me. Right. Because the enemy wants to stay. Yes. He comes to stay. Believers should be the happiest, joyful people in the earth. Yes. Why? Because we know the truth. Yes. And the truth is going to set us free from all these Amen. negative stuff. From all these mindsets. From all these bad stuff. You know. Mm -hmm. So we should be the happiest people. People see that and it attracts them. Yes. I want what you've got. Why? Because you're always smiling. Because you're always happy. Why? 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 Mm -hmm. But you can have the same thing. Mm -hmm. Amen. You just got to make a change. Yeah. You just got to make a change. You don't have you don't have to hang out with the pigs anymore. Mm -hmm, that's it. <laughs> you can come and be on the winning side. Yes, amen. And he's not holding you away. Remember, the Bible says, when the prodigal son left, it says every day the father went out and looked. Mm -hmm. He was expecting the son to come back. Mm -hmm. Some of you watching, some of you listening, you've been gone too long. And the Father's waiting for you to come mm -hmm. home. And you've heard it. Mm -hmm. And the enemy and things are holding you back. Yes, yes. Don't let those things hold you back anymore. Yes. It's time to say, hey, you know, I can do better at Father's house. Yeah. yeah. That's right. You can. But you got to decide and say, hey, Lord, I repent. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. And he's going to use you mightily. Amen. Peter denied him yes. three times. But Jesus says, you're out of here. I can't use you anymore. Mm -mm. No, he used them mightily to bring people into the kingdom of God. Yes, Twice. Yes. Thousands came into the kingdom of mm -hmm. God. Jesus didn't say, I can't use you anymore. Mm -hmm. No. No, he denied him three times. Amen. Twice, you know. And and, 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 and she still used him. Mm -hmm. So don't let people, things, mm -hmm. or hold you back from God using you. Right. Amen. 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 Once you repent, Mm -hmm. Bible says he'll forgive and he'll forget. Mm -hmm. So you need to do the same thing. Yes. Amen. But the enemy's going to use people. He's going to use saints. He's going to use distractions to try to pull yes. you back and say yes. he didn't forgive you. Amen. But he did because he says so. Mm -hmm. Believers are to be blessed. Are too blessed. But you see, listen. <laughs> Believers are too blessed to be stressed. Yes. 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 Reason you're stressed is because you're taking the care. Yeah. Because you've taken the anxieties, because you've taken the distractions, you've taken all these things <clears throat> upon yourself, and you're walking with all this extra load. What are we talking about? Unload. Give it to him. He, he's, he's asking you, get, cast these cares on me. Why are you hold, Why are you walking? Why are this with this extra care? Mm -hmm. Give it to me. Yes. But we're not giving it to him. <laughs> Amen. Woo, man, this is good. I love my tears. We're not going to finish today, but that's all right. Psalms 103, 1 through 5 says this. Praise the Lord. Praise for the Lord's mercies. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Amen. It says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. That's it. Amen. We're just reading now. Psalms 103, 1 through 5. Mm -hmm. I just add a few little things to it. It says, who forgiveth all your iniquities, all your sins, who healeth all your diseases. Okay. Amen. Sickness. Illnesses. For if, if God sacrificed his son. He put all these things on him. So he has no sickness to give you. Yes, if he yes. put it on Jesus. Why would he put it on you? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If Jesus paid for it all. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's done. What yes. we need to do is we need to confess what the word of God says. Amen. By his stripes I'm healed. Yes. And keep saying it as often as needed. Thank you, Lord, that I am healed from yes. head to toe. Yes. <clears throat> and everything in between. No malfunctions. Amen. Verse 4 says, Who redeemeth our life from destruction, who yes. crowneth us with loving kindness and tender mercies. Amen. And verse 5 says, Who satisfies your mouth with good things, so that your youth is renewed as eagle. Amen. Amen. So give thanks because what the Lord forgives and forgets all our sins. Mm -hmm. He don't hold it against you. So don't let the world, don't let nobody say, 
He's holding it against you. Mm. Yeah, but he put that on you to show you something. Oh no, no, he didn't. Why would why he put it on Jesus? Why would he take it off of Jesus and put it on you? Mm. That's that's a lie. You know, <laughs> when people say things and it don't jive with the word of God, it mm. don't line up with the word of God. Mm. If it's not scriptural, don't receive it. That's it. But you got to know what the word of God says. Yes, you do. Because once you know that it's not scriptural, <clears throat> you don't receive it. And you may delete and get, you know, let it go. That's not right. Mm -hmm. Well, what are you talking about? Who told you this? Where in the Bible does it say this? Mm -hmm. I don't know, but I heard it from somebody. <laughs> so, so and so says so. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Well, if, it's, if they can't find it in the Bible, it's not the word of God. Yeah, yeah. I'm not receiving it. Mm -hmm. And don't you go with that. Well, well, this is a new thing. Just found out. No, it's not a new thing. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Heals all our diseases, all our sicknesses, our diseases, redeems us from destruction. He saves us from the pit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't have to go to hell if you don't want to. Those of you are watching, those of you listening, <laughs> you don't have to continue the way you are. Amen. <laughs> Today's a day of salvation. Yes, yes, Today's yes, a day yes, that yes. you can just say, yes, yes. Lord, I'm giving thanks to you. And I'm repenting of my sins. Mm. And I'm asking you to come into my life. Be yes. my Lord and Savior. Amen. So Thank let's you, remember this. He's saving us from the pit. There's a pit. And you can go up or down. But the choice is yours. Mm -hmm. Amen. He sacrificed his son. Jesus gave his life. Now what are you going to do with it? Amen. Well don't just go around uh, listening to what the world has to mm -hmm. say. Or what so and so has to mm -hmm. say. Listen to what the word of God has to say. Mm -hmm. So you can do the right thing. Yes. And make the right choices. Yes. Amen. And then say, Man, I'm going to choose Jesus mm -hmm. so that you can go up and not down. That's and it. you can't blame him. That's it. Amen. You can't blame him. That's why you have a free will. Because <laughs> you can just choose to be comfy and live this way all your life. But oh, boy. <clears throat> know that when the time is, when he calls you or we rapture, you ain't going up. You're going to go down. <laughs> Gives us his loving kindness and mercies. Mm -hmm. His love and his compassion. Mm -hmm. I've shown many of you my uh, Jesus glasses. Some of you are so blessed to. <laughs> <laughs> These are my Jesus glasses. Mm -hmm. And before you leave your house. Before you leave your work. Before you go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Put your Jesus glasses on. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you're going to see people the way Jesus sees them yeah. with love and compassion. Amen. Amen. Instead of just saying, man, get out of my way. Mm. You know, there's a lot of road rage out there. Oh there's a lot gosh. of angers and tempers yes. and attitudes out there, bad attitudes bad out there. Attitudes. But if you have your love and compassion, you know, mm -hmm. hey, it's okay. You know, I get the four-way stop. I don't mind. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm, I'm in no rush. Or somebody beat you across and wasn't their turn. And you're going to lose your salvation for that. Oh <laughs> <laughs> or somebody cut you and got, up, got ahead of you in the, at the cash register. And you're going to lose your salvation. For yeah. that. No. you got your Jesus glasses on. Yes. That the love and compassion. You go ahead for it. You know? That's okay. Remember. His love and his compassion. Yes. Amen. His love and compassion. Amen. So God gives us. His loving kindness and mercies. Yes. But we got to show it. It's got to show. Them. Listen, he's the head and we're the body. Yes. So we have to show it. And people are going to see. Mm -hmm. Say, wow. Mm -hmm. Why did you do that? Mm -hmm. You know why? Because God told me to let you go first. Mm -hmm. Really? You believe in God? Yeah, I believe in God. Amen. He blesses me every day. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, I want what you've got. Well, then lead him to Christ right there. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Gives, he, he gives blessings to us so we can be a blessing. Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh, we renew our health and strength. Yes. He renews our youth as, yes. as eagles. Amen. Yes. And I have this little handout that we have in our little handout basket out there. It says, live to give. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Live to give. And one of the scripture I use here, well, let me read it to you. It says, Every day is a day to give. Yes, Believers yes. have more to give than just finances. Amen. Every time we talk about give, first thing you think is finances. Mm. They want our finances. No. God gave his only son. Mm. Jesus gave his life. Yes. Amen. He gave his life for us to have eternal life. Amen. To have salvation. Amen. Believers, we got to give 
ourselves. When you give your life, you make a commitment to serve Him. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, He gave. He gave His best. He gave His only Son. That whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. And the Bible says in John 3, and Luke say, uh, 6, 38 says, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will be put unto your bosoms. For with the measure you see use, it will be measured back to you. We cannot outgive God. He says, Give, and it will be given to you. He don't give you just one for one. He's going to bless you. Amen. He's going to give you more. What can I give? <laughs> what can you give? You can give yourself. You can give your heart, your love, your compassion, your emotions. You can give a smile. You can give a kind word. Yes. yes. When was the last time somebody gave you a kind word? When was the last time you gave a kind word? Uh -huh. When was the last time you opened the door for somebody and oh, said, wow. good morning? Yes, amen. amen. Be kind. They'll see that. They may not like it. But they'll see it, and it's going to stay. Amen. Give a smile. Give a cheerful attitude. Yeah. Give appreciation. Yeah. Give encouragement. Yeah. Give honor. Give happiness. Give hope. Give a prayer. You know, I see that you're not feeling well. I see this. I see that. Can I pray for you? Oh, I'll pray for you. No. You can pray right there. Yeah. Can I pray for you? Yes. Pray for them. Wow. Yeah. You know, you're in public. You can curse any time you want to. And you hear it all the time. And they didn't say, I'm sorry. Yeah, man, they sure don't. You know, they'll just cuss you out. Mm. Well, if they can cuss, I can pray. Mm. I just pray for somebody. They yeah. need they need a prayer. They never know. Everybody's walking over them. Everybody's not saying anything. Just forget about them. You know, hey, that's not me. So who cares? Well, God cares. And he, he uses his body. I, I'll say it again. We're the body of Christ. We're the church. He can't use anybody else. But he'll use the church. I'd rather use me than use a donkey. <laughs> yeah. He used a donkey in the Bible. And a donkey spoke. Yeah. So if he can use a donkey. Lord, you don't have to use a donkey anymore. I'll do it. I'll say it. Whatever he wants me to do. So don't. Exclude yourself, include yourself. Yeah. He's called us to participate, yes. not spectate. Right. You know what happens when you become a spectator is you start judging. Mm -hmm. Amen. You start judging. Well, I could have done it better. I know I could do it better. I could do this, 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 and this. Yeah, but you didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Somebody else did it. Yeah. And you know what? God's going to reward him. God's going to bless him for it. Mm -hmm. That's the real it is. God's watching. He knows. Yeah. And I'll remind you, church, I'll tell you this. For those of you watching listening, we are a small church with a big, awesome God. Amen? Yeah. So yeah. let's remember that. We serve a mighty God. And when you're out there by yourself, you're not by yourself. That's and it. you're not little old me. That's it. God is with you. Uh -huh. David showed us great. He went against the giant where there's giants facing you each and every day. But greater is he that's in me yes. than he that's in the world. Yes. Your God is with you. He never yes. said, I never leave you, don't forsake you. Huh. He's always with you. Yes, so you're never by yourself. And you're not just little on me. That's it. Amen. I may be little on me, but I have a big God with me. Yes. Amen. So let's, let's, let's get the right attitude. Amen. Yes. Let's get the word in us and walk in the word. And not just in the flesh. Amen. Yeah. That's why it's so important that we stay fully charged in a spiritual world, in the spirit realm. In, because we fight, we don't fight flesh and blood, and we do fight a spirit, uh, a spiritual battle each and every day. Yes. Amen. And how do I defeat that? With the word. Yes. Using the word and walking in the word. Amen. Amen. Let's remember we're not. <laughs> um, we're gonna be. Stopping here, and next week we'll start with uh, reasons for giving thanks. Keep going. Let me see what, what else you got, bro. First Thessalonians five sixteen says, King James Version says, "Rejoice forevermore. Yes. Pray without ceasing. Yes. This is in everything, give yes. thanks, 
For this is the will of God mm -hmm. in Christ Jesus concerning you. Yeah. Amen. And you could take the you off of there and put your name on there. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we can do that. Keep going. I just want you to see this. And this is what we do on a daily basis when we stop thinking about all the priority things I have. But first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to serve him first. Mm -hmm. Bible says Matthew 6 33 seek him first yeah. seek first the kingdom of God his righteousness and all these other things shall be added unto you amen. so what I'm putting you first amen. and seek him first amen yes. on a daily amen. basis keep going amen. Ephesians 5 20 says always giving thanks to, 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 the, to the father for everything in the name of Jesus thank you thank you Jesus and Let's remember mm -hmm. the Bible says in John 14 6 says Jesus says I am the way mm -hmm. the truth and the life nobody goes to the Father mm -hmm. except through me That's it. since I am the old well, this is me I am the only way <laughs> the truth and the life yeah. nobody goes to the Father except through me That's and it. this one says Always give thanks to the Father in to whose God, name? To God. To God. The yeah. God the Father. <laughs> in what? In Jesus' name. In Jesus. Lord Jesus. Yes, yes. Lord yes. Jesus. Amen. So let's remember that. Give thanks for his presence in your life. Amen. Again, don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. Because he's going to use you mightily. Amen. <laughs> People desert us when we need them. Lord is always with us all the time. Yes. In all situations. Yes. Lord has never left us or forsook us. Amen. Amen. You read the Bible and you read about all the Bible heroes. They were not perfect. But God still used them. And we yes. talk about Moses. We talk about Noah. We talk Abraham, Gideon, Jonah, Job. Just a few. David. Jesus. He never left them. He was always, always, always with them. He'll do the same for you. Let's remember this. Amen. Let's not say, well, he forgot about you. No, he didn't. We forgot it. We forget about him. Amen. That's why it's so important we keep the word before us and study and meditate on the word Amen. because the enemy is busy and he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And, it, and we, can, we can easily open the door and let him come in. Did you receive something? Amen. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Those of you watching, those of you listening, you know, you've been running from God too long. It's get uh, Thanksgiving week coming up. So it's time, you know, this decide this day. This is the day the Lord has made, and I'm going to repent. Rejoice. <laughs> and, well, yeah, rejoice and be glad in it, but I'm going to turn around, mm -hmm. make a turnaround. In the military, we call it a, an about face. I'm going to do an about face this day. Mm -hmm. And stop serving the world and start pleasing God. Amen. And say, Lord, I repent. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. And He will. Amen. He will. He'll accept you. Yes, He will. And you start living for Him. Start getting in the Word and studying the Word. Get in the Bible based church where you can learn the Word of God. Yes. And be around people that are going to encourage you. And yes. He'll bring the new people around you yes. to be for you. Amen. And, be, and befriend you, you know, for whatever season it is, short time, mid time, or, or long term. Mm -hmm. But still, decide today, this is the day I'm going to make it about place. And I'm going to start serving you, Lord. Amen. You will. If you have sickness in your body, the Bible says, by Jesus Christ, you heal. So, mm -hmm. body, line up with the Word of God, receive your healing. Yeah. You have to receive it. The yeah. Word says, by His stripes, you heal. So, I'm going to confess it. And I'm going to believe. Who's reporting you going to believe? <coughs> whoever says so, whoever the doctor said, or what the Word of God says. I'm going to believe what the Word of God yeah. says. And I'm going to confess it. Mm -hmm. As faithfully as we take our medication, I'm going to take my godly medication. Mm -hmm. Amen? It's good medication. Uh, I think it's, uh, is it Proverbs? Uh, 1722. Well, yeah, 420 is good, but... Uh, <laughs> well, I'm gonna make sure I give you the right one. All right, Pastor. Proverbs, Proverbs, what is it? Seven, seventeen, twenty-two. It's, some translations uh, say it different, but uh, verse seventeen. Seventeen, twenty-two says the yeah, very says, heart. Yeah, 
Good, good. There you go. And that's what I want to that's what I want to hear. Seventeen twenty two. Seventeen twenty two says, A merry heart, a joyful heart, do it good like a uh, medicine. Amen. But a broken spirit drieth the bones. So you know the, the word of God is gonna bless you. Amen. So confess the word and we speak healing over your body. Amen. Whatever it happens to be. I speak healing over, over you right now in the name of Jesus. And his word says, by his stripes you're healed. So I'm confessing the word of God. Amen. And that's what the word says. So time to give. Those of you watching, those of you listening, uh, go to our website. It should be on our screen there. NBCBigBand.com. Hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, PO Box 252, Marfort, Texas, 79843. And now you can do cash out at New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. Amen. God loves you. We love you. And remember, have a happy Thanksgiving. God bless you. Amen. God bless you.